Hello everyone, this is ASMR today welcoming you to my new Photoshop tutorial. Today I'll show you how to edit portrait. Actually, uh, some of my fans just asked me how to manipulate photo and how to change the background like that. Uh, I just uh, made this type of video tutorial uh, last year and there was no voice command. That's why I'm just making this one, this type of um, tutorial actually again and let's start the tutorial before we start the tutorial i want to say one thing please do subscribe my channel and share with your friend and press the bell icon beside the subscribe button for the new notification when we publish our new videos okay uh, at first going to the file and open uh, here is our stock image this one and i downloaded this image from the uh, devianna.com and i'll give the download link and photo credit line in my video description i'm just uh, starting this one at first i'll go to the pen tool and this one and here is uh, the setting like that and make the selection uh, like a path and uh, start selecting and like that yeah i'm selecting this one okay and i'm going to forward okay after that just um, right press and uh, make selection option and make the pixel one and hit the ok button and after that i just refine the edges just because of the hair and go to the select option and select and mask this option but press the shift button and hold it and just select this button uh, the previous uh, version of photoshop just you got this type of window like the refine age window someone uh, some of my fans just asked me about that uh, how, how to i got the previous uh, versions window of it refine age options okay uh, smart reducer just select this one just make the brush size bigger and just brush this areas okay like that yeah just select those area now if you want to keep those area just select the edges it will uh, refine this one automatically okay that's good go to the drop down menu and new layer with the layer mask and hit the ok button okay uh, after that uh, we have one issue like that this one just select this one I'm just forwarding this one just make selection and okay and how to remove that now just select this mask and just uh, make it white and press the delete button it will mask automatically and just turn on the background layer okay this one is like that okay after that make a copy by pressing ctrl j the background layer and after that turn off this one this background layer actually the masking layer just turn it off and just press the control button and select the mask just when you are getting the, the dotted square just select this one and after that go to the select again and the modify and expand uh, actually i am doing uh, one thing that is the uh, just i want to make the subject delete from the background that's why i am just selecting this one and i do content your uh, just uh, technique and i will apply that here is the edit option and the fill options then select the background at first this background and edit and fill fill how to fill that continuer that is the process in the photoshop automatically take the pixel from the sides of the other sides and it will just fill it up that means the content error and fill up options we are just getting that okay it's taking time to load and yeah the background is like that and 
Uh, here is some uh, here and I want to remove that by using the spot healing brush tool just one click just one click not drag too much otherwise it will take gel from the unnecessary uh, portion and it will be like spoiled okay our background is ready after that select this background and go to the file and place a mirror option here is sky uh, vintage sunset actually and make it bigger like that why you are not getting this uh, suppose of uh, i just turn on this background and i just place this one under this background that's why okay just select this background and mask it why i'm masking this one i want to take the mask like uh, i want to uh, show the sun uh, from this portion that's why i'm just mask this one and make it black and go to the gradient options and select this gradient uh, I just selected this one and select these options and the opacity 100% and the mode will be normal and select the shift button and just drag this one like that okay don't drag it too much and select these two things make it just merge it will be merge and then just turn on this layer this one is our subject actually the model and this one is our the background so we don't need this background and i'm turning it off select this background and now i will apply the you know, tilt shift blur or tile shift blur whatever you can tell and going to the filter and then the blur gallery and from the tile shift from the tile shift i'll just drag this center to the downside and adjust the blurry options and which portion i'll be just i'll do blur this portion so here is the blur amount yeah i'm just blur this one like that and around 50 pixel is good and hit the ok button take time to load yeah that's good and one thing is that uh, when you will zoom it in then you will get the uh, blurry uh, portion uh, here but uh, one thing uh, just select this layer and make it white take the brush tool and just brush over there it will get the previous effect and the uh, opacity and flow like that yeah like that here is some blurry portion uh, when i just uh, done the content error techniques it took the pixel from this portion and just make it blur okay it will be more natural actually so uh, after that select these two things make it group make it a snapshot or merge whatever you can tell after that go to the filter and camera filter actually from the camera filter we'll apply effect uh, for the matching of this green and uh, this sunset effect so i have a preset for the camera and i'll give that preset to you in my video description so don't be tensed about that select these options and load settings and i just hear the girl options and just open it up yeah you'll get the picture like that and hit the ok button it will take time to apply yeah you are getting the before one and after one before one and after one so thank you so much thanks for watching my video tutorial if you have any kind of question query or comment please do comment on my video comment section and don't forget to subscribe my channel and and hit the bell icon for the new notifications new video updates and until the next video i am asmi signing out and bye bye